testimony in five minutes, and Mr. Wolf will begin with you. Well, Chairman McClintock, Ranking Member Jayapal, thank you for the opportunity to testify today. Today's hearing is titled The Border Crisis. Is the law being faithfully executed? Unfortunately, the answer by any objective measure or metric is a resounding no. I understand the difficulty and the complexity of running the Department of Homeland Security, so I do not say this lightly. The U.S. Constitution requires the administration to, quote, take care that the immigration and border security laws be faithfully executed, end quote. It's clear to me and to millions of Americans that the Biden administration has failed to do so. Today's border security system is unrecognizable from the America First policies of the Trump administration or even what was in place during the administrations of President Clinton, Bush, or Obama. In all candor, the Biden administration is the first administration of either political party to deliberately take steps to diminish the security along our southern border. Therefore, it is my opinion that new leadership is needed at the department. In contrast, under President Trump's leadership, the department established the most secure southern border in my lifetime by building the most advanced border wall system, reaching historic diplomatic agreements with nations, and putting in place across-the-board policies that deterred illegal immigration, disrupted the Mexican cartels, disincentivized the deadly flow of fentanyl, and enforced the laws enacted by Congress. I think the results are clear. During the Trump administration, fraudulent asylum claims declined. Those who qualified for humanitarian relief faster. Lives were saved as migrants stopped taking that dangerous journey north when they realized they would not be allowed and released into American communities. In stark contrast, today we see a border not only in chaos but in crisis because the Biden administration has dismantled all of the proven policies. Recommendations and concerns by career Border Patrol experts were ignored and political correctness and rank ideology supplemented common sense and adherence to our immigration laws. To be clear, these laws did not change between the Trump administration and the Biden administration, just the decision by this one not to follow those laws. They have embraced destructive and unlawful policies that have made American communities dangerous and have enriched the Mexican drug cartels. Here are but a few examples. Nationwide catch and release. The Biden administration has intentionally decided to ignore its legal mandate to detain illegal aliens or to make them wait in Mexico throughout their immigration court proceedings and a federal district judge has struck down this practice. DHS was then unable to process the volume of illegal aliens fast enough under this catch and release scheme, so it resorted to issuing notices to report. These are essentially an honored system document that asks illegal aliens to self-report to a local ICE office when they reach their final destination. Again, the courts have blocked the implementation of this practice. Next, a de facto amnesty. On day one, the Biden administration issued a 100-day deportation freeze on all illegal aliens, including those with criminal convictions. Let me say that again, including those with criminal convictions. Again, a federal judge has blocked the nullification of this interior enforcement. Another de facto amnesty of this administration is when the DHS Secretary's enforcement priorities exempt 99% of illegal aliens from the threat of deportation, including the declaration that being here unlawfully is no longer grounds for removal. But perhaps the most egregious example of violating the law is the use, is the unlawful use of parole authority. The INA could not be clearer that parole is a remarkably narrow authority and only allowable on a case-by-case -case basis. The numerous unlawful categorical parole programs by the department that the department has implemented are not new, safe, or legal pathways, but a diversion of illegal aliens between ports of entry to ports of entry. It is very clear that the current administration is lying to the American people about the severity of the problem. So here's the reality. Large-scale catch and release policy has resulted in more than 4.5 illegal aliens, million illegal aliens, including 1.5 million gotaways being allowed into American communities. That is a population larger than every major U.S. city except for New York City. There have been more than 200 known or suspected terrorists apprehended at the southern border in the last two years, compared to just 11 during the four years of the Trump administration. The border is effectively controlled by the Mexican cartels who crave these open border policies to further their business model. And more migrants have been found dead in the desert or have drowned in the river during the journey than ever before. And according to the New York Times, the Biden administration has lost contact with more than 85,000 children after releasing them to sponsors here in the U.S.
These are the results of a process that the administration calls safe, orderly, and humane. But to whom exactly? Not to the migrants being abused, extorted, or dying along the journey. Not to the American communities that have been overrun. And not to Border Patrol officers who have been assaulted. Instead, the process that has been created over the last two years can be more accurately described as dangerous, corrupt, and inhumane. Uh, these policies are unlawful, and this is a crisis by design. Thank you. Look forward to the questions. Thank you for your testimony. Uh, next is Mr. Recklin uh, Melnick.